Okay, uh, good day, good, I can't say good morning, if you see it in the... Hello, guys! Hi, everybody. How you doing? Hey, Toby. Yeah. Hello and welcome back. Um, we have today, we've had a few two days where we haven't been very successful with uh, fishing. Bite has been very, very slow. No live bait, bottom fishing, um, lures, or anything like that. So I figured, you know what? I do have this uh, lure, it's a Rapala. It's a swim bait, and I I crushed it against a bridge. I was kind of careless. I wanted to go fa uh, far under it, and uh, miscalculated. Ended up hitting a bri the bridge. So we have cracks, cracks, cracks. And that's basically it. So we have one, two, three big cracks. And then here, it got a little bit weakened. So we're gonna be reinforcing that. Because lures are expensive. We do not wanna be throwing them out just because it has a few cracks, but we can't have them taking in water while we're trying to catch a fish. It will affect how the swim bait will move. So what can we do? <clears throat> Clear epoxy will be your best friend for that. Now this one is perfect because it comes with a with a double syringe. So you push and it'll give you the amount that you need every time. So that's perfect. And then I have some uh, some brushes so we can apply it on thinly but uh, evenly. We obviously have our lure, our damaged lure that we do not want to throw out because they go for some money. <coughs> and our trusty hair clips, which we're going to be using. And candle wax, candles, which we're going to be using as stands so that we're not, we don't have to recline them on the table or anywhere else. So first off, Find a way where you can hold the lure in a fixed position in the air so you can apply the coating without. There you go. Without affecting the, the finished product. There you go. You do want to clean it up as much as you can. If there's any dirt on that, check it out, wipe it off, leave it as clean as possible. It does heat up, the epoxy does heat up, so be careful with that. And I need something to mix it with. We just mix it with a bag of the, of the brush. It's not a huge lure this one, so we can just go with. There we go. So again, we want to do it evenly. We don't need a whole bunch, this is just a little bit, a little lure. It did not come out exactly even, but we'll work with it, I guess. 
I hope it doesn't affect uneven uh, mixtures of uh, base and resin will give you a different reaction um, if it has too much hardener it will it will get it, it'll, it won't cure properly it can turn like a, into a rock and if you put too much base not enough hardener it's gonna come out sticky and you do not want a sticky lure also one thing to remember it smells it has fumes so you might want to have a fan near you or do it outdoors I'm kind of used to this smell I've been working with it for a long time so I'm but still I shouldn't be doing it inside but here we are nice and mixed once you apply that on you want to be clear do not want to take too long either because it will have a, it, it, a quick reaction it does say that it works in four minutes so you don't want to take too long but you do want to make sure that it's nice and well mixed just make sure that when you buy the resin that you buy a clear resin because they do sell all sort all sorts of colors so you don't want to buy, end up buying a gray resin and applying that. You can just get this. You can get this at any hardware store. Or most of them. As you can tell, it's not flowing anymore. When you put your, your brush to it, it's already very thick. So that's why you have to do little amounts and do it fast. For now, this is all this needs is just to be dry. Let to dry and then ready, it'll be ready for use. <clears throat> and now we wait. The thing we can do to speed up the process a little bit, we can apply some heat.
Okay. This certainly took more than just four minutes as advertised on the package. I'm very happy I did this today and not tomorrow morning where I'm planning to go fishing. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it honestly needs a little bit more, but it, it's fine to show you guys. Yeah. Right now, as you can see, you can still see the cracks, obviously, because uh, it is a clear coat. But there's no water gonna, no water is gonna go through that anymore, or at all. It, it didn't get to actually get water in. If you were to catch water um, before you fix it, then leave it out in the sun, leave it out to dry. Obviously, don't use it. And once you see that it is uh, dry, it's ready then you can then apply the coat as we just did and uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow um, but it's it's looking good it looks uh, pretty looks pretty good again close up view it's not tacky anymore you can touch it it's not uh like i said it may be a little bit more but it's it's good it's not it, it'll dry up real nice that's it for now and i'll see you guys in the next one